Congregation of LaGrave, where does our help come from? Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Our help is in Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Today, I want to think a little bit about um, racism and responsibility. And one of the things I've heard, and if I'm honest, in my own life, one of the things I've sometimes felt is that when people talk about racism and the history of racism, sometimes I felt in my own heart, um, well, that wasn't me. I had nothing to do with that. I'm a Canadian, man. I, I wasn't even part of America. And my, my ancestors, I, my, my family didn't immigrate until 40s and the 50s. And so I didn't do all that stuff. And so it's, that's not my responsibility. Um, I've heard that. I've, I've felt that in the past. But I'm starting to rethink that. And one of the reasons I'm rethinking that is the story of Achan, of all things. Remember the story of Achan, Joshua 7, a pretty terrible story. In that story, Israel has just conquered, um, has defeated Jericho, won that great victory, walls came tumbling down, all that stuff. And God has told them that they're not supposed to take any treasure. They're not supposed to take any plunder. But Achan goes and he takes some plunder. He takes some clothing and some gold and he puts it under his tent and he hides it. He's going to keep it for himself. And as a result, then the very next city that Israel goes to war against, the city of Ai, which should be an easy victory for them after, after Jericho, turns into a defeat. Israel is routed. And a whole people, a bunch of people end up dying. And Israel has to figure out what happened. Why did we lose this? And it turns out that it was the sin of Achan that caused the defeat of Ai. The sin of this one individual, but the whole community turned out to be responsible and bore the responsibility. We Westerners, we like to think that um, individual responsibility is everything. We're not responsible. We're only responsible for ourselves. It's kind of an individualistic way that we think. But that's not the way God looks at things. It's not just in the story of Achan. It's in, in our doctrine of original sin, right? In Adam, we all died. Somehow Adam's sin um, infects all of us. And then the good side of that, in Christ, we're all made alive. In the miracle of grace, Christ's sacrifice and holiness is imputed to us. So God doesn't look as, at us quite so individualistically. It doesn't mean he doesn't see us as individuals, but there's, there's, a, there's a corporate sense. We've seen all around us the results of the sin of racism over the last few months, and frankly, through the years, if you paying attention. And it's not enough for me to focus on individual events and who's responsible for these individual events. Um, myself and the rest of the staff, we want to understand how the church through history has been responsible. We want to dig around in the history of the church and look under the tents and figure out where it is that we went wrong. Where do the bodies lie? We don't know these stories. I don't know these stories. These stories are there. That history is real. There are sins to be confessed, which frankly remain unconfessed, and they are our sins. They're not just the sins of the past. And so we as a staff have started a reading program. Um, the first book we're reading is a book called The Color of Compromise, which is a history of racism in the church. We've got other videos we're going to be watching, some TED Talks, some other books we're going to be reading, and we will share those titles with you. And it is our way of learning the ways in which we might be responsible so that we can overcome and confess this sin with the help of Jesus Christ our Lord. Because he died so that all could be one in him. Now may the peace of Christ go with you wherever you may be. May he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing face to face again once more.